Hey, glad you stopped by. Now, real quick before we get started, for those of you that don't have one yet, this video references a website from my-real-estate-website.com. Uh, you can get one by going to this web address and clicking the little sign up button. And then any links or other downloadable content that I mentioned during this video can be found on its blog post. So if you're watching it on YouTube or some other video website like that, go ahead and click that link in the description and that'll take you to the right place. And this video was recorded uh, for YouTube high def, so if the text looks all jagged and goofy or anything like that, you can click the HD icon in the bottom right corner. That should improve the quality for you quite a bit. That's me, I'm Jason Massingill. There are a few of the ways you can get a hold of me. Uh, I like communicating with text message, so if you're into that kind of thing too, then definitely feel free to shoot me a text anytime. But more importantly, if you have any questions about this video or how to do something on your website, the best thing you can do is leave me a comment. Um, enough for all that intro stuff though, let's go ahead and get into this thing now. Alright, so we've got real estate website components. And what I'm going to talk about in this video are the default WordPress components. We'll talk about what they are and in general how to use them, but it's kind of a top level glance at them. You know, it's, We've got other videos that get into the more detail on each one and show you exactly how to use them. These are the components we'll be talking about. We've got pages, posts, categories, links, media, and comments. Now let's head over and check out the dashboard real quick. When you log into your website, this is the, the dashboard screen that you see. And we've got the pages, the posts, the categories, the links, the media, and the comments. So we're going to start with pages. Now if you want to see all the pages on your site, you can just click on that. This lists them all out for us. If we wanted to edit it, do like considerable amount of editing, actually change the content, we can do that. If we want to do quick edit, we can do it there. But the main point is that here we've got 12 pages showing up two of them are drafts, that means they're not going to show up on our website. So let's take a look at the website and see where they are. Okay, this is a page right here. We've got Sell My House is the title of it. This is the content that we added. And a couple of options that I enabled were I wanted to do the seller form, which gives us general seller information we need to find out the value of a house. And the related category is the seller category. And this is where you find pages. They're up here in this menu bar here. This is a page. These are all individual pages. The thing that makes them show up down here is just by making it a sub page. So we're on this screen, you can see that little dash right there. That means that this is a sub page to the parent page of Jason Massingale. That's what makes it fall under that list. Now, pages and posts are both going to have the same look and feel here. You can use the same options with the form and the related category, but adding a post or adding a page is not going to affect any of this content on the sides. And before we jump into posts, let's just go ahead and take a look real quick at how easy it is to turn on this feature. I know this isn't a how-to video, but uh, it's still worthwhile just to kind of show you just a glimpse of you know kind of how we set this website up to run you know it's designed that we want you to be able to get in get what you need done done and get out and move on with your life and not spend a lot of time screwing around figuring stuff out now we also could have gone to this by clicking this little edit button on that page we could have gone directly to edit that page just from that now to turn on that seller form right there's our button we check that we select seller bam that throws that on there and on the related category, all we got to do is select that we want the related category to be seller, and that's what throws that on there. So those two options right there are what created the form and the related content, and this right here was our only content that we added for the page. Now let's go ahead and check out posts. All right, so now we've got our post page, very similar to our list of pages. The difference though is here instead of having parent pages and child pages, that kind of stuff, here we can classify stuff by categories. So let's check out a post real quick. We already saw that this is one way website visitors can find posts. There are a few other ways though. Here in the sidebar, this just shows you all the most recent posts, no matter what category they're in. This one, when you click on an individual category, it'll show you all the posts in it. And then we've got archives. So let's just check out uh, 
buy a home category. All right, and then this page comes up. We see we've got nine different posts here on the page and it shows us that there are two subcategories. So if we want to narrow it down even more, this just gives us another page to make it a little bit more specific for visitors if they're looking for very specific content. And then the other place we can find posts is right down here in the footer. If they happen to be in the home buyer or home seller category, because those are the most important categories here, then those posts automatically show up in this list. Now I think we pretty much covered categories there also, but let's just go ahead and check out the page real quick. This is where they're all listed. It tells us how many posts are in each category. And we've got another page of them over here. Now if you have a category and you don't put a post in that or you don't assign a post to that category, that category still exists in your back end. It just doesn't show up on your website. All right, we covered the big ones, but let's go ahead and check out links real quick. Very similar to the, the pages and post lists, we've got a list of links here. The name is what shows up on the website. The URL is where it actually links to. And those show up right down here. So if there are other resources that you want to share with your visitors, then this is where you do it. And if you want to add one just on any of the posts or pages or anything, it's really easy. Just click the Add New. Now let's check out Media. Media is basically files, you know, any kind of photos, PDFs, that kind of stuff. You can upload that stuff to your website and share it with people through the media option. And these were all uploaded directly from a post, but you could add media right here just as well. And the last one we're going to cover is comments. And here's the comment that I posted earlier just to have one in here for demonstration purposes. It's already been approved, but when it first comes in, it's going to look like this, and then I'll have the option to approve it, spam, delete, edit, quick edit it, or reply to it. Usually just going to approve it, maybe reply to it. Unless it's spam, then when you click spam, that'll automatically get rid of it for you. So that's approved. Now we'll just go real quick and see what that comment actually looks like. If I can find the right page, there we go, that one will have it. So there's our post, the sample demo post that I made, and the response to it right there. That about covers it for this one. All right, I hope this video was useful. Uh, here, there's my info one more time if you want to get in touch with me. All right, what I want you to do now is just let me know what you think about it. You know, if it sucked, let me know that. If it's good, let me know. And if you liked it enough that you want to be notified when we add new stuff, then go ahead and click that pretty little gold subscribe button up there to the right. Then you'll get an email anytime we add new stuff. Take care. Talk soon.